is going on, bass holes? Guess what day it is? It's just Wednesday. Um, beautiful day here in Virginia. So I am gonna do a little lunch break pond hopping. I found this place. It's like two minutes from my work, so we get out here. I've already done a little walk around. Water looks pretty clear. Looks like there's some grass out in the middle of it, as you can see. But it looks pretty good. I saw a couple beds as I was walking around, but uh, I don't know. See what we can do. I'm gonna see if we can find a little bit deeper area. All this grass is kind of hanging me up right here. All right, guys, there's a bass on a bed right there. thing took a hit if you can't tell make it nice and weedless well that was cool That's two bites now, man. Crap. That might be the only fish in here. <laughs> There's a bunch of minnows and stuff in here. Not very big ones, but there is some food for the bass in here. Guys, look at that. You gotta be kidding me, that's an otter. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know we had these here. That is crazy. You guys see that? That is wild. That is wild. Okay, so there's otters in Virginia. I just saw this massive head pop out of it. Look, there it goes.
That's pretty wild. Look, I see dead everywhere. Where's the deep water? There is no deep water. Oh, damn it. Did you see that? What is up with this bait? <laughs> what do we got going on here? They want to eat it, but they won't eat it. I highly recommend it to them. Three times. This is basically just a little zoom. I think it's a Fluke Junior. Got it set up as a weedless rig because of all this grass. And it's getting hit, but I'm not making the connection. No connection. You see that one just trying to eat it? on that bed. There's a bass right there on that bed. There's even a bass on that bed. All right, y'all, I'm on my way to another pond. I might stop off at another new one or I might go to my old little favorite spot, I'm not sure. Had a couple little bites. Uh, they seem pretty small in there, so I don't know if they're even big enough to eat, you know, lures and stuff. But uh, I'll probably come back and give this one another couple tries. It's super shallow, a lot of grass, too. Um, so, whatever. I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, guys, today I'm going to start out throwing my black and blue Lunker Hunter with a double willow leaf spinner bait. Look at that. Not even hooked anymore. Nice little, looks like he's still pre spawn. That's a pretty fish. I'll tell you what, guys, that Lunker Hunter in the black and blue, I've had two good days with that thing now. So that thing seems pretty legit.
I've been aiming at that spot for probably two weeks now. There's a huge bed there that I can see big fish on, but it's really hard to get it in the cast all the way in there. There's a huge female sitting over there and a bunch of little males. So pretty sure that was one of the little males. Pretty little fish. Got them on the Lunker Hunter spinner bait. Let's go after another one. I'm gonna go hit up another spot. Giant bullfrog just scared the crap out of me. All right, let's check out one more spot. All right, guys, I'm gonna see if I can catch one real quick. I gotta get back to work. The bed right over there. Alright guys, so I gotta get back to work. My hour lunch breaks up. Uh, checked out a new pond today. Got a couple bites there. Nothing major, but uh, I think there's small bass in there. Really shallow, really grassy. Uh, a muskrat, otter type animal <laughs> uh, paid us a visit, so that was kind of cool. A little random. Um, got one here at this pond, and uh, gonna go back to work. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of VA Outdoorsman. I hope your day is as awesome as mine. And go out there, go after what you want, and never quit.